welcome to our quick look at AI Studio. If you're a data scientist or AI developer struggling with cloud computing limitations, you might be facing challenges like spending hours re-imaging computers or adapting shared models, having difficulty organizing or documenting diverse data science tools and projects. AI Studio by Z by HP tackles these issues head on. It's an enterprise grade platform design for seamless collaboration in local compute environments. By containerizing development environments and syncing them across machines and users, AI Studio simplifies project sharing and management. It's built in integrations with data hubs and model repositories like NVIDIA's NGC catalog, speed up model development and deployment. Skeptical? We'll demonstrate how AI Studio can set up, sync, and run a project in under five minutes. We'll cover creating a project, connecting data, cloning a Git repo, and running uh, model code, all on my Windows machine here locally. Plus, with a local computer, you get to avoid cloud costs and GPU queues. Ready? Let's start the clock, and we'll start by jumping right into the projects page. So once you're here, creating a new project is as simple as clicking this button, giving it a name, giving it metadata, deciding whether you want to keep it private or share it with your collaborators. In this case, I'll share it. Giving it any sort of metadata tags that you can use to organize your project. I know it's going to be a BERT model, so I'll go ahead and do that. And then the next step is to connect any sort of data pointers that need to be included in the project. So if you have existing data pointers, you can simply point to them and they'll be pulled in. If you need to add a new one, you can do so. Uh, new data. You can pick the data type that you need to pull in. If it's remote storage, you need privileges to be able to access the remote store if it's not a public bucket. So if it's a public bucket, you could just point to it and you'll be able to pull it in. If it's if it's uh, logging credentials are required, you'll need to be able to authenticate to be able to access that. But then once you do, you get to pull those right in. In this case, I'll just connect to a local store. I have a data set on my table uh, or my desktop and I'll go ahead and pull that in. Once it's pointed to, it's added, and then my project definitions are defined. If I would like to add a Git repo, I can go to Documents and Setup, and I can clone that Git repo simply by getting my Git address, copying it, and bringing it in to AI Studio, and pointing to the local uh, location that I want to make sure that the repo is cloned. When I do this, you'll see I already have it cloned here, and AI Studio is smart enough not to reclone it more than once. But it does associate it with my project, and as well as the data set that I pulled in is also associated with my project. So you can pull in data sets from multiple sources and multiple locations to bring it into one place to work in your project and have that managed for your team, which is pretty cool. Once you do that, then you define the compute for your project. So this is really cool and this is important because this is how you decide uh, the amount of compute or the type of compute you need for training or for inference. If you're doing a simple model, you might just need CPU. Uh, you can use a minimal image to do those definitions. If you're doing heavy compute like transformers or neural networks, you might need a deep learning image. Uh, but my favorite is actually to go to the create custom workspace. I always need GPU, so I click that. I pick the deep learning GPU as my base because it often contains the frameworks I need in terms of PyTorch and TensorFlow. And then I pick the libraries that I want to add in. Um, and that's as easy as either spelling them out here or if you have a requirements file, you can actually just go ahead and ingest that. You can check to see if there are any dependency issues or discrepancies. And then there's a log that spits that out. In this case, I know it works. So I'm going to go ahead and create my workspace. And voila. We're off and running. And it was that simple to create a project, set up the data sets, connect to Git repo, define a workspace. And now my collaborators are all working the same way. We can open the code book and uh, we can get coding. So it's as simple as hitting the play button and we're off and running. This takes a little while because it's actually building the container out to pull in the metadata, pull in the data sets, pull in the collaborators, pull in the artifacts that are existing and the project definitions and making sure that they're synced and up to date. Um, so if we actually look at another project, I already have it open. And if I open my notebook, you'll see here um, any sort of 
uh, connections that I brought in are made available here. So this is actually my clone repo, and I can actually get into um, all of my projects that are there. I could run the code, uh, and once it runs the code, I actually embedded MLflow hooks, which are really cool because MLflow is actually integrated into the project. So I can actually use MLflow in this case to do monitor and manage my models. And because I have a model registry here, three versions of my model here, I can do model versioning and then I can actually publish them out for local inference. Um, so we'll stop there. Uh, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. If you want to see any more tutorials or try the product itself or just simply talk AI compute, you know, please join our AI data science community and I'll share a link below. And I look forward to uh, uh, working with you soon.